Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. We have another game today for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, the map is Comet Catcher and spawning in the top left hand corner of the map, playing as red pieces, it's Flower. And his opponent spawning in the bottom right hand side of the map, playing as the blue pieces, it's Pettish. So it looks like we have a <clears throat> core versus core replay here. Both players choosing their opening builds. Looks like Pettish has gone double mass extractor, double solar collector. It's a bot lab. Opting for those solar collectors here on a map. It's got average wind speed of four. So, And Flower, I think I've seen this build the other day from him. He... Uh, Opens up Max Solar Plant LLT and then walks his commander over to cap this third mix before making his first factory. It's pretty interesting. Definitely wants to protect those uh, protect those mass extractors from crones here. So Petish is going to be finishing his factory much quicker. You're nearly done. It's going to open up with a construction bot into incisor light tank, so going to be wanting to uh, expand his build power and start harassing on his opponent's side of the map with these fast-moving light tanks. Continue to add on solar collectors. So while this game gets underway, we can talk about the map for a little bit. Uh, I believe this is a four versus four player map, so got a 1v1 on it for now so what that means is just there's so much extra mass income for each player I mean half of the map you're probably sitting at maybe 45 mass somewhere around there 50 mass and it looks like flower is opting for multiple grunts open he hasn't even added on his additional in, uh, build power he's gonna open up with three grunts into construction bot both players opting for uh, or excuse me we have uh, bots versus vehicles here Always interesting to see that dynamic play out between the slower moving, more expensive vehicles compared to these uh, fast moving bots. So I always like to see that interaction and how the players, or how um, Flower rather is going to adjust his play to uh, these uh, vehicles. We'll see if he deviates up his play or chooses chooses a different direction here. And immediately goes into a construction turn. That's interesting. Uh, just sitting on 150 power income. Starts his first construction turret. Pettish building right there. Look at this position. That's really great. Next to your main base. Offers really good coverage. Minimal interruption here from this little plateau. And uh, unfortunately, Flower is going to be running his grunts right into Pettish's commander. Let's see if he reacts in time. forward commander starts shooting grunt start shooting it's gonna try and run by turns around d gun goes off one goes down all three go down so it's rather unfortunate he had a delayed start on his bot factory and uh pettish immediately reclaims those bots so just scoops up that mask gets it into the economy gets it back on the board so nice little pick up take a look at the main base Fetish has uh, two cons two construction vehicles assisting his factory, one expanding down this bottom side of the map, and his commander's in the middle, expanding forward. Could take a look at Flower's main base. We've got two construction bots. Looks like they're assisting each other. He's going to start expanding down this southern side, adding LLTs and mixes as he goes, and his commander is mirroring the position of Fetish, just Slightly behind, moving towards the center. Going to start capping mexes. Don't see any additional LLTs being put up, so... Game's kind of slowing down for a bit. Both these players sitting around about 30-ish MMR, I believe, so... Not those top-level players we've been posting here past couple days. Trying to highlight some of y'all in the community here, so... This happens to be you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll be sure to make more of these in the future. Yeah, two tanks moving up the right side of the map. Two tanks moving down the bottom. 
think Pettish is just positioning here, positioning these here to prevent any kind of run biases and looking to harass. Just wants to secure his expansions and continue expanding his economy. We have more construction bots coming out. Oh, sorry. This is a brute assault tank, so. Definitely transitioning into these heavier vehicles. He's making these incisors in the early game to keep up with the grunts. They have the about the same movement speed. Sizers have a movement speed of where is that? Uh, is that 85.5? And a grunt has a speed of 84 with much higher acceleration. So if you can catch up with the grunts with the incisors, uh, you'll be able to run them down. You're not going to be able to kite. So players opt for these incisors in the early game just to kind of keep up with that harassment you see so much of. Both commanders getting very close to each other. Moving here in the center of the map. Flowers putting up a radar. He knows what's going on. Check out the player cams. He sees the commander in the middle, so he knows it's there. Pettish does not, though. He does not have his radar up yet. It's building an LLT, building a radar finally. He's going to spot that commander here shortly. Tank moving forward. Takes out a grunt, takes out another. Pulls back, just wants to get that free damage and move back and turn off the player cameras so both players here putting up LLTs in the center putting up turrets putting up radar towers take a look at the main base here okay so um, flower has that multiple construction turrets he's adding on his I'll call this tech 1.5 Power collector, advanced solar collector, produces 75 energy. The cost of 370 mass. So a little more than double. Double the mass of the solar collector. And uh, is adding on a vehicle factory right at around 35, 35 mass income. Take a look at the main base of Fetish. Kind of falling behind in... in Electric power here just has the about sitting on about 200 200 per income per tick and is on the one factory So as the game goes on the next couple, couple minutes flowers definitely gonna start out producing them bringing those tanks in the battlefield Looks like we have two Light mobile artilleries out starting to shell away at these LLTs flower put up so Definitely a great use of these in the early game players love to put up these LLTs So the quicker you can get out these wolverines and rocket bots the faster you can Outrange those turrets and take them down. Pettish putting up another light laser tower. Takes out that mix. Flower rotating back. We have a run by here on this top side of the map. Four light tanks versus five. It's not going to win it. He's rolling through. Flower isn't reacting and turning around. He's going to get tanks rolling into his main base here shortly. Have a light laser tower behind it. Starting to clean up the units. Takes out a mix. Takes out a turret. He's going to take out another mechs here. Moving down with these tanks. He's going to meet up with these brutes in the center. And brutes versus grunts is not a good battle. These grunts are no match for these heavy tanks. Heavy tech one tanks. And Petish is crawling his turret line down the middle. He's moving past halfway in the map. Supported by these two artilleries. He's able to push through these turrets as they go up. Take out the mechs. No red buys moving on the right side, but it looks like we had one here. A dead engineer here on the map and a couple grunts, so I think I missed that one. Flower had a red buy, took out a construction bot. We have battle in the middle. Uh, Pettish's commander stepping forward, taking on these tanks, uh, protecting his light artillery bots. And uh, Flower's going to press forward. He's got more tanks. He's going to press into this commander here. Got to be careful. 50% health, 30% health. Down below 20%. Below 10%. Wow, 4% health. He takes out that last tank and is forced to move back. So that's going to definitely push his commander out of the middle of the map and give Flower here an opportunity to press forward. Looks like he also took out one of those light mobile artilleries. So got to slow down the advance of this uh, blue player. Four tanks reinforcing the center. Take a look at the main base. We have four construction turrets. Looks like Flower... Reclaimed his bot factory, so he's just producing vehicles now. Gonna try and reclaim this top side expansion, get that mass in his economy. We have brutes versus light tanks, so 
Flower can't take that battle. He's going to rotate around. Try and get a run by. Just have one turret defending the south side. So he can definitely get through that with five tanks. Flower's commander idling in the middle. Trying to figure out what his next move is. We have... Looks like kind of a run by for forming here. Uh, Benish has multiple tanks right at the door of Flower. He's going to rotate with his commander. Going to try and stop this run by from happening. These light tanks are no match for the Brutes. And Pettish pulls back, so chooses not to dive into the base. He would have lost those units to the commander, donated the mass. And it looks like Pettish adding on a second vehicle plant in this forward position. I love seeing these multiple multiple factories of the same unit. I know the game gives you an error that it's much more efficient to use one factory assisted by build power, but... Are you going to make up for the time difference it takes for those units to roll across the map? We have a run by here moving on the south side. Takes out two turrets. Takes out two mexes. Still coming strong. It's going to get a third mex here before this brute can show up. Another artillery pops out. That's not effective against these light assault pots. And this run by is going to be very effective. He's got two tanks rolling behind the main base of Petters. So he's going to lose some more eco. Takes out another mex. Going for these construction turrets. Takes one down, takes two down, takes all three down. Man, this is critical damage here. You can't let this happen 10 minutes into the game. Takes down another mechs. He's still going. Is that shot going to land? No. He's going to turn around. Uh, leaves that leaves that mechs to live for another day. The Petrus' commander adding on solar collectors here in the middle. Small force. Uh, here's the rally point of flower. Getting shot up by those light, ar light artillery. Got to avoid those slow moving shots. And we have an army of light tanks and brutes. So another run by here on the right side. One turret's going to shoo away this these brutes. Nope, they're going to turn around. Dive into this economy here. You have a couple mechs, a radar turret. It's going to go down. Three brutes moving forward to try and protect us. But this solar collector is vulnerable. Same for the mechs. Flower's going to turn around. He's going to try and target that. Looks like that is just rotating his construction bot. Sorry, construction vehicle around. Trying to protect that from this run by here. Flower's targeting it. Takes out the mechs. Solar collector goes up. Depowers. Takes out the engineer. Rolls away. Looks like Flower's setting up a run by here on the middle side of the map. And that is just trying to deal with this one here on the right side. We have this light laser tower. Targeting one of the brutes that does so little damage against these heavily armored tanks. And uh, once these vehicles are on the move, they're hard to stop. You're, 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 the units move and shoot at the same time, so they can get damaged on this. They're moving through your base. We're going to tank battle here in the middle. All these tanks are flowering. He's supported by his commander, so that is just going to start a tank battle here. But Lyra chooses to retreat. He doesn't want to risk losing his commander at this point in the game. He has such an advantage. Tank versus tank battle. Looks like the advantage is going to Pedersi. So he's got more tanks and more concentrated, and that's going to make Flower turn around. Got a small little reclaim reclaim field forming here in the middle, and Pedersi's commander is back up to 70% health, so we'll see if he chooses to get that in the action. We have more tank battles going on. Five versus six. Reinforcements pulling up for Flower, and we have a Lasher missile truck out on the map finally. This is an anti air turret. Shoots these. Those are pretty fast missiles. And uh, wow, look at that choke right there. Oh, those units get bunched up very tight. Relatively even take numbers, so no player can really get an advantage here. Flower steps forward, fires a D-gun, misses. Petters turns around, he's pulling low with his tanks. Flower in tow, and we finally have this run by on the right side moving out again. We have light tanks and brutes going for another run by. This time it's completely undefended. Petters has yet to retake this expansion and put up some radar coverage to see this run by so he's going to be completely unaware of this happening let's go to the player cams he sees the rotation actually with from those radars in the middle let's see if he reacts he sees the radar signatures just too focused on grouping up this army in the middle here let's take a look at flyers point of view so much more than that wrapping around right left side of uh pettis's position here so just going to push forward. Flower pulling back with his tanks. Pulling back with his commander. Does not want to risk losing this. Take 
Cotton's going down. Shots going off. Definitely the numbers in favor of the Flower, and that's going to force Petters to retreat. He doesn't want to just dive on and lose all these tanks for free. Petters' commander steps forward again. Fires a D gun. Takes out a tank. Takes out another tank. All his tanks are gone, and that's going to be it. That's GG. Pretty cool game. I uh, definitely want to bring more of these to y'all. So, if you like the content, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, leave a comment. If this is you, Flower or Petters. Um, Thanks for the games, guys. I downloaded this off of uh, BAR's site. So thanks for the replay. Um, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.